In this problem, we have two balls with initial velocity. They are impacting at this point and we are interested to find their speeds just after the impact. So, whenever you have an impact problem, first you need to determine the line of impact. For that, you just need to join the center of masses and then you will find this line. So this is my line of impact, line of impact. So the normal to this line is called the plane of contact. And let me call this line as the X axis and that the line of impact is the Y axis. And these are the positive directions. Since we have the velocity of A at an angle with respect to the line of impact, this is called the oblique impact problem. So here it is this angle is theta, which is the same as this one. This is also theta. Sine theta is 4 divided by 5 and cosine theta is 3 over 5. When you want to solve these kind of problems, oblique impact problems, you need to follow four steps. First, you need to resolve all velocities along x and y direction. Then, you need to write the conservation of linear momentum for the system A plus B along the line of impact. Third step is to plug the velocities in this equation, the equation for coefficient of restitution. And finally, you need to write conservation of linear momentum for each ball normal to line of impact. So let's follow these steps. For resolving the velocities, we have VAX as this component. So this is VAX1 before the impact and this one is VAY1. So VAX1 is in negative x direction so it's minus VA sine theta minus 15 times 4 over 5 it's equal to minus 12 meter per second. VAY1 is also in negative y direction and its magnitude is VA cosine theta. So minus 15 cosine theta is 3 over 5. That gives us minus 9 meter per second. So what is the velocity of B along the X and Y direction just before the impact? If you look at the velocity of point B, we see that there is no component along the X direction. So it is zero and it is in positive Y direction, which is eight meter per second. So. We are done with the first step. In second step, we need to write the conservation of linear momentum for A plus B along the line of impact. So Y, this line is my line of impact. This is the positive directions. So let's say the equation. MA, VA, Y, 1 plus MB, VBY1 is equal to MA VAY1 
2 plus mb vby2. Let me plug the numbers. Mass of A is 4 kilograms. Velocity of A in Y direction is minus 9 meter per second. Then MB is 2 kg times 8 meter per second is equal to 4 VAY2 plus 2 VBY2. So if I simplify this equation, left hand side is minus 10, and then I have 2 VAY2 plus VBY2. Let me call this equation, equation 1. So we are done with this step as well. Now we need to write the coefficient of restitution equation. Please remember that we always write these equations along the line of impact. So y is the line of impact, we just consider those velocity components. So VBY2 minus VAY2 divided by VAY1 minus VBY1. It is equal to point A that is given in this problem. So VAY just before the impact is minus 9 meter per second. And VBY is equal to 8 meter per second. So if I rearrange this equation, I will have minus 13.6 is equal to VBY2 minus VAY2. Let me call this equation the second equation. So if I solve equation 1 and 2, I can find VAY and VBY just after the impact, the Y components of velocities. So this one is 1.2 meter per second and Y component of velocity for ball B is minus 12.4 meter per second. But we still have two more components that need to be found. VAX and VBX just after the impact. So we wrote this equation as well, the coefficient of restitution. Here we need to go through the step four for finding the X component of velocities. So write the conservation of linear momentum for each ball along the X directions normal to the line of impact. MAVAX1 is equal to MAVAX2. Same discussion for B. MB VBX1 is equal to MB VBX2. So let's cancel the masses from the both sides. We know VAX1 and VBX1. So VAX2 is equal to minus 12 meter per second and VBX2 is equal to 0. To find the velocity of A, the magnitude of velocity of A, you need to find the square root of x and y components square. So Vax square 
plus VAY square, which is equal to minus 12 square plus 1.2 square. That gives 12.1 meter per second. And for VB, if you do the same things, you will find 12.4 meter per second for the velocities. These are the velocity magnitudes just after the impact.